Hi folks, uh, the objective of this video is to uh, try to uh, orient you on how to install a buzzer to a uh, Chinese cheap multimeter uh, DT830B which does not have originally a buzzer for the diode uh, test mode. So this is the objective of this video and I hope you enjoy it. This is the uh, multimeter I was talking about. It's a DT830B. It has uh, very simple features in it. It's uh, resistance, uh, DC voltage, DC current, uh, diode uh, mode and uh, uh, transistor mode uh, as well as alternate current uh, alternate voltage measurement. Uh, so this is uh, originally uh, the entry uh, 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 level of this multimeter so it does not have a buzzer for diode test mode and I installed the buzzer in it and I will show you how I did that so that you can do the same and it's a very simple process I hope you uh, find it useful okay so here's the equipment and uh, it's uh, got the probes you got the, the multimeter and what I do is I will show how it works and what's the sound of the buzzer when you, you put it in the diode uh, uh, mode test. So I will connect it, I will put it in diode mode and you see that when I touch the probes it emits the, the signal without you having to look at the, at the, uh, at the display to see if it's it's got continuity or not. So here it is another test. So if you test a component that has continued, uh, it will buzz and it will inform you without looking at the display that you got continuity in it. The modification is very simple. Uh, in these cheap multimeters you have a very simple circuit board and the battery. Uh, and the display and, the, uh, and that's basically all you have so uh, this circuit board has many points where you have uh, outputs and I did a thorough research to try to identify which points were the ones that would give me a signal uh, when doing the diode mode test for continuity and uh, I have researched the internet a lot and deep in forums and sites and YouTube and everything. I've seen projects uh, that were not easy to build and that were not very effective to add a buzzer to this type of equipment. So I decided to uh, 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 do some more uh, research and go deeper in the subject in order to find the simplest way to install this buzzer, this equipment. And uh, what I show you uh, uh, in the following uh, uh, documents is the way that you can do it. You have to open it and I'll show you how to do it. And once you open the equipment you will find uh, the, the circuit board and uh, the circuit board is where you uh, uh, do the, the modifications uh, to add the buzzer and it's a very simple addition. It's a two pieces of copper wire and the buzzer, 5 volts active buzzer and this buzzer will uh, uh, work from 3 to 8 volts and ha has a pretty good sound as you could see so on the next document I show you what to connect and how to connect so that you can uh, have this buzzer installed in this equipment okay folks so uh, this first document shows some fundaments for the installation of this buzzer in today's multimeter DT830B. Uh, it's a very straightforward process uh, and I added these two slides in order to show you uh, this first one which is a document showing uh, fundaments and the second one which is the actual circuit board with the points that are of importance to us which is the two points where you connect the signal 
uh, that will uh, 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 trigger the, uh, the trip votes when the diode mode is uh, selected and when the continuity is on, when you touch the probes or you check some component where there is continuity. So these two points will show three volts that will go straight to the buzzer making it sound. So that's very simple. Your circuit board may differ a little bit from this one for the same equipment DTA30B because each circuit board has a number on it and if you see the number marked in the circuit board it may differ from yours. So what you have to do is to try to find uh, the points where when you select diode mode uh, these two points should be uh, showing three volts. It shows zero volt when the probes are not touching and when the probes touch they should show three volts between ground and uh, and uh, between the two points one ground and the other one is plus three volts so what you do is just connect these three points and make a battery of tests to make sure that these two points are the real ones and not fake ones because they may show three volts in the same condition but it, it's from another source not the diode test mode for continuity so be careful i hope you enjoy i hope you succeed Please let me know if you liked it and let me know if you succeeded. Thank you.